Hey guys, Magnus Robert here. So today we're going to be ranking Walking Dead deaths from Pure Tears to Who Dat. So just to explain the ranks, Pure Tears are basically the death was really well done uh, in terms of like where it was placed, like the time it happened was correct, I guess, and well executed. And the character was well developed before they died, so their death had impact. So that kind of what goes into Pure Tears. A uh, good death is you know probably isn't a very well de you know defined character but the death um you know was well placed i guess or uh, wh wherever it may be we'll explain it when i get into it i guess meh is just yeah it's an okay death but i don't really care for the character or or alternatively um i really like the character but the death was kind of you know meh did not care is i didn't care about the character dying and i didn't care about the character and who that is basically I, I know all these characters, but what I'm trying to say is, like, really, like, who gives a shit, basically? <laughs> you know, like, I did, this character had no impact anyway, so I don't care that they died. So, Jim, honestly, I think he's a good death. I think he's a small character, so he's not going to be in pure tears. But I just think for that sort of initial early stage, it was cool to see a character get bit, slowly start to, you know succumb to the infection and then he's kind of nicely placed by the, on the side of the road uh, who, who? oh that's sam uh sam i think is a uh is a meh like i didn't really care for the character that much and i saw it coming from a mile away that he was gonna get eaten and um yeah it's sad that a child gets eaten but i didn't actually give a fuck uh simon honestly for me personally, I didn't care. Simon was fine as like a comic relief character. I loved the scenes with him and Gregory. But the whole Negan Simon rivalry uh, I just I don't know. It it I didn't care, basically. <laughs> and I, when he died, I, I just I didn't give a shit. <laughs> anyway, and we got Enid. Oh, I like Enid early on. But to be honest, her death sort of happens. And then we never speak about her again, right? How many scenes do we speak about Enid after she dies? I, I think maybe, like, I know Maggie's letter says Enid, but Maggie doesn't even talk about her. And it's insane to me. Like, Maggie had, like, a like, little older sister vibe with her and just never mentions her again. Like, if you watch, like, just take season four, right? There's a character in episode one of season four who dies called Zack, who's Beth's boyfriend, right? They talk about Zack throughout, like, all the way to, like, the mid-season finale, right? They're, they're speaking about Zack. Like, they use his car to go and run. You know, they're speaking about, like, the trauma of him dying and them being there, like, with Bob and with Tyrese and all that. Like, his death has a meaning, even though he's such a tiny, minor character. And then Enid dies, and no one mentions her again. Like, she never fucking existed. Speaking of that, Abraham, I swear, like, he's barely mentioned as well. Uh, honestly, it's a good death. I don't think it's pure tears for me, just because, honestly, he died... He died kind of too soon. I think um, if they needed to kill him off, they should have killed him off in a different place. He's, his death is overshadowed by Glenn, and that, I think, uh, annoys me. Uh, no one really... We don't talk about Negan killing Abraham. We talk about Negan killing Glenn because Glenn's a bigger character. And so for me, I'm just going to have to put him in good death because, yeah, it's overshadowed. And I think it was overkill, personally. I think they didn't need to kill two characters. They did it for shock. And they did it to make the 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 weight worth it, and I I don't like it. Sasha, it's pure tears. Now, unironically, Sasha is a character I'm not a huge fan of. I think she gets a little bit annoying, but um, I think her death is beautiful in a weird way. I know she's like KYSing, but in a weird way, her death is actually kind of beautiful. And I like it. Morales, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who generally actually cared. And when he died, I was like, okay, cool. Now that stupid morale, bring Mara's meme is dead. Thanks. Uh, Denise, honestly, I didn't care. I think N Denise was an okay character with like In No Way Out, that episode. And then she kind of gets on my tits a bit. And then she dies. And it was like shocking, I guess. It was like, oh shit, whoa. But actually, no, it wasn't shocking. Because as soon as she started going on that fucking tangent, that big speech... I was like, oh, because I was expecting Abraham. I was like, oh, shit, are they going to do Abraham's death, comic book death? And then when she was, like, going on the speech, I was like, oh, wait, oh, wait, it's going to be her, isn't it? And then the arrow came. Yeah, it wasn't even shocking. Uh, Gavin, who cares? <laughs> who dat? Uh, Dante, I, I, who dat? Who cares about his death? 
wasn't impactful in any way. Not just because they're villains, just because, like, I didn't care for them as characters, really. Uh, Tara... <laughs> I didn't care. Uh, Tara is a weird character. She just kind of stuck around to be a background character for no reason. And she doesn't do anything. She's she she's good in season four. And then she just sort of lingers around. And um, yeah. Boring character. They didn't do anything with her. And there was so much wasted potential. Because I think that could be interesting. They just decided to do nothing with it. Uh, Gregory? Honestly? It's a good death. I know he's a villain. I know he's like a, or an antagonist to some degree. But I think the way it's sort of done and like Maggie being like, I don't give a fuck, right? I'm going to execute him now. Yeah, there's a cool ass scene. Uh, Richard uh, didn't care. It's it's so weird. Like, Richard's such a weird character. He's like, I want to motivate a war. Why? Because he's got a dead daughter. Who gives a fuck? I, I did. <laughs> Richard was a weird character. Uh, Jackie... I mean, I can't be mean, but who dat? Um, I, I, I reckon I, I know who Jackie is, obviously, but I didn't care for her at all, really. I can't say her death had much impact. Uh, is this meant to be Beth? I think this is meant to be Beth, not Dawn. Is there a separate one for Dawn? Or is there? I guess this doesn't have every character in it. I suppose this is meant to be Beth. Honestly, Beth's death is, like, meh. Like, because I, I don't... I think it kind of makes sense in a sense, but it's the way it's like for her to die at that moment, you know, after she sort of come this far, it's just the, the way that her death happens. She stabs Dawn. Why? I don't, I don't understand why she did that endangering everyone in that hallway. Right. Cause she knew that some shit could ha go down. Right. Why the fuck does Beth stab her? It makes no, I don't understand why she does that. And then Dawn accidentally shoots her. So dumb. So stupid. Uh, I mean, it shocked me. I was kind of sad in a in a way, although I wasn't a huge Beth fan. Uh, but yeah, the death death was kind of weird. It's kind of meh. Uh, Milton, honestly, good death. Milton has like this. He's this minor character, pretty underrated. I think he's a pretty cool little mini character, and he has like a pretty badass moment where he tries to take out the governor. I mean, he fails, but the fact that he went from this sniveling coward to trying to kill the governor was pretty cool. I'm gonna have to like look really close. Who the fuck is that? Oh my god. I have to go like right in. Hang on. Oh shit. Oh, is that beta? It's beta. Oh Jesus. Yeah, beta. Um, I'm gonna go with pure tears, but I wasn't obviously crying at beta's death. I more mean that beta's death was really good. I like the fact that he dies surrounded. Yeah, <laughs> so it's so cool, and he rips the the blades out of his eyes. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a cool ass death. Um, I think beta was. The whispers as a whole were overused, but that death in particular was pretty cool. Natanya, who that? Who cares? Uh, Lily. Uh, I mean, we didn't even see her death, so can we really put that? Can we really put her any higher? She literally dies off screen. Uh, is that Lizzie? Is that Lizzie? Oh, that's a pure tears. Lizzie's death is uh, pretty emotional, pretty sad. And I think what we'll do with Mika is I'll just put Mika in the good death. Yeah, Lizzie's... Lizzie's that whole The Grove is a great episode, and that scene where Carol shoots Lizzie is fucking iconic. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, messed up. Pretty fucked up uh, scenario, and <laughs> great drama. Uh, Ron, I didn't care, really. I wish they kind of did more with Ron. In a way, I kind of think it could have been interesting to keep him around. This is, this is what I mean. Like For me, I really think it was a mistake to kill Deanna, Jesse. Sam and Ron, all four of them were like killed in one episode, right? Or I mean, Deanna technically dies the episode before, but like losing all those like big Alexandrian characters, I think was a bit of a mistake. Now I know realize that that we're going comic accurate, but technically, uh, Ron is like young is the is the kid in the comics, so they could have kept I don't know they could have kept one of them alive, either Ron or Deanna, um, but they didn't. Uh, and then for that, I think that's why I'm going to put... I'm going to put Deanna as mayor. Because I like Deanna. I think she's pretty underrated. Is this Martinez? Martinez? I didn't care, really. Who cares about Martinez? Uh, Sophia, I think, is a... I think it's a pure tears. Like, that's a big fucking shocking moment. And I, I really love that episode. Who the hell is that? 
is it Bob? <gasps> Bob Stucky. Bob Stucky is a great ass character. Uh, real, you know, not around for long, but very good. Good death. He died. He goes out slow. But yeah, I like it. Axel. Meh, I mean, I was more just annoyed that they killed him off and they didn't really do much with him. Uh, Dale. Uh, again, I think died too soon. It just annoyed me. T-Dog, same thing. It just annoyed me. It's a fine death, I guess, but annoyed the shit out of me. Henry, honestly, uh, this is like a death which... Maybe I should have added another tier. Maybe I should do a tier of like... Killed at the wrong. Uh, hmm. What should I? How, how do I? Uh, kill too soon, maybe. We'll we'll just put that. Or we'll make it. Uh, add row add below below here. So oh, this is my mess. I'm messing this up. So we're gonna do a kill too soon, right? Where this will be. Oh, no, no. What am I doing? Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> How is that coming up there? There we are. Kill too soon. Um, can we change the color? We'll change it to uh, pink or something, right? We'll change it to pink. There we go. So for kill too soon, we're gonna we're gonna do it. So it's above. It's below. Didn't care. Uh, this is like because this is like annoyed me, right? Well, actually, maybe I should put it like here. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. No. That one goes lower. Oh, no. Oh, what am I doing? I'm having a fucking aneurysm here. That one needs to go above there. Kill too soon goes above. There we go. Jesus Christ. So, for, I think Henry's a kill too soon. I think Dale's obviously a kill too soon. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say to Ron. I, w I don't think I'll go to that extent for Ron or Deanna. I just think one of them probably should have survived. Just to sort of... So we've got some more recognisable people in Alexandria. Aside from like fucking Tobin and Bruce and Barbara. But uh, kill too soon for like characters who had more, much more potential. And I think Dale obviously had much more potential. But there was issues with the actor. And Frank Darabont being fired. Um, I think Abraham was probably killed around the right time. I just don't think alongside Glenn was was right and Henry I think was such a missed opportunity so the reason why I'm not a massive fan of season 10 is because I think the whisper of war had that through line in the comics I mean with Carl because Carl the the whole war starts because Carl uh wants to fuck Lydia right <laughs> like this is his girlfriend he fancies Lydia so he he basically starts a war for for, for her uh because he wants to get her back and they kind of did the same thing with Henry going after Lydia. And I wish they just kept that through line. Um, and so I sort of lose a little bit of investment with the Whisperer War. And especially with Lydia's character when Henry's gone, right? He's just, he's dead. And I don't know. It was, and, and that whole, that spiraled Carol into a, a most annoying form. And yeah, honestly, I didn't care for the Whisperer War because it didn't have that sort of emotional, personal through line. Uh, kind of like with Andrea being, you know, in Woodbury. I, I think, although Andrea sort of makes some dumb decisions, I think her being there was important, right? Because it sort of humanizes that side of the, uh, of the, uh, you know, the villains, I guess. And I, yeah, I just, I just wanted Henry to be around for a bit more. Anyway, Governor, pure tears, great death. Um, didn't overstay his welcome, and. Yeah, I like it. I like how Michonne kills him and then Lily finishes him off. Pretty good. Uh, Tyrese killed too soon. I think Tyrese had so much potential and his death is just random, really. It was just kind of like another shocking thing to throw in there. <sighs> Where should they kill Tyrese? I think Tyrese probably should have died. Um, I think probably in Alexandria? I'm not sure. When could they have killed Tyrese off, though? I don't know. It just That wasn't it. And I think it was too soon because we just killed Beth off, which I think is fine. I think Beth probably should have died around there, that point. It's just the way she died, which I hated. Uh, what's her name? Leah? I don't, I don't care. I don't care if she died. It was like, oh, Daryl's killed her. Whatever. Move on. It, was, it wasn't even it wasn't even like Daryl was sad about it. It was just, yeah. Anyway, Herschel is the best death in the series. Greatest, one of the greatest characters, great character arc, and his death is so fucking sad. Uh, Glenn is another one. I think he's probably the second best death. Uh, fucking emotional, needs to happen, but, um, 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Benjamin. Uh, I think he's a, probably a good death. I think it motivates Morgan. I think Benjamin was a cool little minor character, aside from, you know, uh, not Richard. Richard was awful. Benjamin was okay. Uh, Spencer. Uh, oh, yeah, that's another Alexandrian they kill off as well. That's what I mean. Like, I feel like they should have kept... Like, maybe Ron. I don't know. He could have been like he could have like replaced Gage, you know, in the in the show. Uh, anyway, uh, Spencer, I think uh, it's just a meh. Like it's a cool death, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, it's a bit silly. The death is no, it's not silly. I don't know. I just, it's just I just don't care that much about Spencer. So it's kind of funny, I guess, with Negan, the got no guts thing. Andrea is uh, a kill too soon, obviously, kind of. But then, in a sense, I don't know. Because, like, you think about it, sure, Andrea survives till the end. Well, near enough the end. But she dies, obviously, a bit sooner. But um, she survives a lot, long time in the comics. But in the comics, we don't have Carol. We don't have Daryl. Oh, obviously, Carol dies, like, in the prison. We don't have Daryl. Uh, we don't have a lot of characters, right? And... Uh, in a way, I think the show kind of survives without Andrea, and it's okay that she died. I think it's the way she dies, but I will still put her in kill too soon. Obviously, Laurie is uh, honestly a pure tears, fucking emotional death, and I love Laurie as a character, and she gets so much hate. Stop hating on Laurie. Laurie is uh, is not so bad. Um, she she makes some mistakes, but Rick I think is probably a worse husband than Laurie's a bad wife. Uh, Gamma slash Mary. I, I honestly, uh, I'm going to say who that, because I like her character at first, and then they just don't know what to do with her, and then they just fucking kill her off. I'm like, oh, whatever. Who cares? Who the fuck is that? I can't even see, man. What the fuck is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Do I have to zoom in or some shit? Can you see? Oh, that's Eric. Eric and Aaron. God. Um... Probably a mare. It's an okay death. Gareth, uh, brutal death, brilliant, loved it. Noah, uh, part of me wants to say kill too soon, but I honestly never really care for Noah. So, <laughs> uh, this is Doctor Edwin Jenner. Um, in terms of the actual death, I, don't, I mean, I just didn't care, but I like his character. Uh, I just don't care that he died. Really, uh, in a way, I don't know. He's a weird one because I really like his character. It's just his death isn't like anything cool. Well, I don't know. It kind of is. Where do I put him? He's a weird one. I don't know where to put him. I'm just going to put him in there. I think that's fine. Olivia. Um, I kind of did care. I, I liked Olivia. She's like a little minor character, but I just put him in there. I don't know. It's kind of shocking, I guess. It was just to add more to the cannon fodder. Uh, Owen. I like his little arc. I mean, it's okay. I'm just going to put him in meh, though. Who the hell is that? Oh, it's Sadiq. Uh, yeah, I just I just didn't care for Sadiq. <laughs> Carl obviously killed way too soon. Um, missed up a stupid death. It wasn't even a cool death. Like, if they're going to kill Carl, give him a fucking heroic death. Like, he gets bitten by one fucking walker. Like, getting bit by, like, a huge, big-ass, pulping variant walker. You know, he takes it on, trying to save Sadiq. He fucking... We don't know he's bitten, and he defeats the bastard. And then then we find out he's bitten, right? At least that would be a bit cooler. But he's literally fighting fucking walker. <sighs> so stupid. What a dumb decision that was. Uh, Shane's death is pure tears. I feel like there's loads of pure tears. This is not... This is, I feel like this, This maybe, I don't know. Maybe I need to take some down. Um, ah, oh, whatever. Tobin. I didn't care really for Tobin. Ed. Who that? I mean, I know who Ed is, but who really cares? Uh, Alden? Oh, this is tricky. I think he's a meh. I think it's an okay death. Uh, I kind of forgot. It's weird because we leave Alden and then there's the and then we come back eventually and we find he's dead and it's just like I feel like we should have seen it, you know, or like see like a little teaser of him fighting that Reaper and then we don't know what's gonna happen. Maggie comes in the room and he's dead. Do you know what I mean? Like like a little bit like with Andrea fighting off Zombie Milton. Amy, um, honestly, a good death. Good death to start the series, you know. Oh, at the start, uh, is this Jared? I, I just don't care. <laughs> uh, Merle, Merle is a 
pure tears. Merle's a great character, great character arc, uh, underrated, I feel, uh, and a great death. And honestly, some people say kill too soon. I think he was killed at the right time. Alpha, um, overstayed a welcome. I think a death's uh, a meh. I honestly, I think it would have been better if Lydia or Carol killed her. Just Negan killing her is just, I don't know, it so, feels so foreign. And I know it happens in the comics. Listen, motherfucker, I'm, I'm a comic fan. Uh, Jesus, no, Jesus. Uh, pff, killed too soon, obviously. Uh, who the fuck is that? Oh, that's fucking Pope. Who the fuck cares? Uh, Nicholas, I don't give a shit. Uh, oh, is this Beth or is this Dawn? That's why we already did this, right? Kill too soon. Meh. Was it meh? Did I put it in meh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we'll count this as Dawn. Uh, I just didn't care. I didn't care for Dawn. Actually, who dat? I'll put her in the who dat. Actually, no. I'll put her in the don't care. Jesse? Um, that means a good death. All right. I think that's a good ranking. What do you reckon? I think it's right. 